What was Satan's campaign? God is not good. God is not good. God knows you will have this and you have this. Anytime Satan attacks, his name is the slanderer. All the attacks on me are to make me look bad, that I'm not good. That's, that's the, all the attack. Is, is a bad person. It's not a good person. It's a standard operation. So God told Moses, I will show you that. I will, I will show you my goodness. That was the first. I will show you my goodness. When God wants you to come close to him, he will start to show you that it's actually good, not bad. It's a good thing to serve the Lord. That's why we say it is a great thing to serve the Lord. Because the first campaign is that he's bad. He's a bad person. God is bad. That is why he doesn't want you to eat this tree. God is wicked. God is not nice. God is not kind. God is mean. God is strict. God is this. God is that. So all the slandering, the devil's name is the slanderer. Is to smear a smear campaign to make somebody a bad person. That is all. That is a standard practice. Because if you are going to marry someone, listen, if you find someone and you're going to get closer to the point where you even have a union and have children, you have to have in your mind that he's a good man. Or this is a good sister. And if he's a good sister, then you go closer. Because he's a good brother. And if he's recommends, oh, he's a good brother. Or oh, he's a good sister. But if you hear he's a bad brother and he's a bad sister, then you go back. So to come nearer to God, to go deeper to God, your mind must first be that he's good. He's a good God. He's a kind God. He's a nice person. And so you come closer to him. So Satan's smear campaign is so that you hear bad stories, bad stories from credible or seemingly credible sources. Do you understand? That is a bad person doing bad things and this is the reason why. That's a standard thing. is to keep you far away. And that is why when the Antichrist comes, his mouth will be full of blasphemies. The word blasphemy is injurious words and statements to make God, to blaspheme God and the people in his house, in the kingdom, and those that serve him to look bad. Do you know why people are attracted to full-time ministry and to missions because we keep saying that God is good. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. If you serve the Lord, it's a good thing. It's a blessing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve God. It's actually our own blessing to find God and to love him and to serve him. It's our blessing. And because we keep saying something good about it, people keep coming closer because you only come close to something that you see is good. So the first thing that God told Moses was that I will make all my goodness to pass before thee. You will see that I am actually a very good person. (laughs) So I want to say to you, you know, to go deeper, you want to go deeper in, in the UD, in the UO, in this church, in the ministry, into all the things that are, uh, you are going to have to believe even that I who am your leader, I'm actually a good person. Yes. You will have to think so. If you think, if you don't think so, you will never be able to go deeper. I'm telling you. And you can't have two seeds mixed up in you. Leviticus 19, 19 says, you shall not mingle seeds. The, the mingling of the seed brings forth barren things. When a donkey 
a male donkey has sex with a horse because they look similar. Eh? When a male donkey has sex with a female horse, it produces a mule. A mule is a, a strange type of animal, okay? And that mule can never give birth. Yes. You can never give birth. The mule, a mule cannot give birth. Cannot produce. It's barren. A mingling of seeds. You mix good and bad in you. You mix two seeds. The seed of disloyalty and the seed of goodness. The seed of faithfulness, lies, and truth. And your whole life is mixed the two. And you mix a donkey and a horse. And that's what leads to barrenness. All mules are barren. No mule can ever have a child. A mule is only produced by a mixture of a donkey, a, female, a male donkey who has seen a female horse. The mixture in your mind doesn't help. I, I see people who have mixed things in their head. I can see it through. I can see right through them. You see that they are, they are confused. Because I've been in the church for a long time. I've had people slandering me for years. It's nothing new. And I see people who are confused. I can see right through them. I say, look at this one. He's confused. And that's why Moses said, God told Moses, you know, my first thing I'll show you my goodness. Whether I'm good or evil. It's either one or the two. As I stand there, I cannot be good and evil. Otherwise, I've, I've been producing mules for some years. Leviticus, now let me read it. I think you don't read the Bible much, so. Yeah. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Another species. It will produce barrenness. And that's why you have no energy to come towards God because you don't think God is good. You think IBM is good. You think uh, Microsoft is good. You think your bank is good. You think that company is good. You think that other this is good. That's why you go there with all your strength, not God. But I came to tell you that God is good. And unless you start seeing that God is good. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper and do more. You will never be able to go deep unless you have it deep in your heart that God is good and that it is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a good thing to come to God. That's why when I have people that say, you say I'm a bad person, right? Excuse me. Just find to where it's good. You do better there. I always excuse myself from people who have mingled seed. They say, oh, he's a Christian, all right. But you know, he's this, he's that, he's like this, he's like that. If you sit down and you have such discussions about me, you should not be here. And you should not even be watching. Yes, you should watch where it's good and what you think is good and everything is good about it. That is what you need, not me. <laughs> Number three, God takes you deeper. Amen? By showing.